What's going on guys, welcome back to another Discord.js tutorial. This tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an advanced Discord command handler. Last episode, I showed you how to create the basic command handler, and most of you can probably use that method if you're not creating very big bots, but if you're starting to create you know, tens, maybe hundreds of commands, make sure to use this method. It's going to be a lot, a lot easier to basically handle all of those commands. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're completely new here, make sure to check out last video where I show you how to code this code right here. We're actually going to be using this code in this tutorial. So if you want to check that out, make sure to check that out. Um, and also make sure to check out the first video where I teach you how to basically set everything up, um, all the developer tools, as well as all of the Discord developer tools as well. Uh, so make sure to check those two videos out. So so let's actually get started. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create a require because we have to require something called FS for us to be able to get into other, you know, JavaScript files. So what we're going to do is going to do const FS. Let's make sure it's not caps. So const FS, it's going to require fs just like that it's pretty simple the next thing we do is create um kind of like a collection a discord collection where we can have all of our commands stored so we're going to do um client dot commands equals new discord dot collection let's open parentheses like that and just like that we have a discord collection Next thing we're going to do is kind of um, make sure that all of the files that we're going to read are JavaScript files. So we're not reading some other files. So to do that, we're going to do is do const command files. It's going to equal fs dot read their sync. Make sure it's sync um, just like that. And then we're going to do is open up in parentheses. We're going to um, kind of go back a folder and kind of start to tell a code where it can find all of our commands. So we're actually going to create a command folder here in a directory. So if you come here, uh, you can actually create a folder. You can also do that in Finder if you don't, um, you know, have Visual Studio Code installed. So go back into wherever you started coding your Discord bots and you set everything up and create a folder. We're going to name it commands. You can name it whatever you want. And that is where we're going to store all of the commands uh, by using this method. So we're going to do dot slash commands. And this is basically telling this code to go back one, um, actually not go back one. It's just going to tell it to go into the commands folder um, right here. And then after this, we're going to filter and we're going to filter everything to make sure that it is a JavaScript file and it's not some other kind of file. So we do file. We're going to do a arrow function. We're going to do file that ends with and we're going to open this up and we are make sure I close this. So you guys can see going to do a parentheses or single quotation mark, sorry, and we're going to do dots JS. And let's close that just like that. And then what we're going to do now is kind of kind of do a for loop. So it's going to loop through all the files um, to make sure it's getting the correct file to execute our commands. So we're going to do for const file of command files. And we're going to open this up. And what we're going to do is do const command equals oh, require and then in here we do is do the back quotation mark which is above the tab next to your one below the escape just like this so the shift version of this if i can get it is my shift broken wait it's actually not working no way all right guys let me go ahead and check my keyboard to make sure this is actually working all right so i checked it out there was actually some kind of problem it was like forcing me onto the shift, which you don't necessarily have to shift. Um, so just like this, this is the back quotation marks. And in here, what we're going to do is do dot slash commands. And then just the same thing as up here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go next to it, put a money sign, and then open brackets, and then type in file. I know this is very weird if you're new to coding. And then we're going to end it off just like that. And then one more thing, we're going to do client dot commands dot set and we're going to set command dot name and then we're going to also pass in command and that's actually all we have to kind of code in the you know the main dot js this is kind of our bulk of our coding we're going to do some things down here but before we do things down here let's actually create our command javascript file so let's open up command folder and create a new file we're going to Basically do the basic ping command. So we're going to do ping.js. In here, there's a couple things we got to do. The first thing we have to do is do module.exports. It's going to equal, open that with brackets. 
and in here we can pretty much start adding information about our command so the first thing is probably the name so of the name we're gonna just do ping let's do a comma and then the next thing we need to do is the description description and then we can add a description to our bot so we can do this is a ping command I'm not typing correctly today and then one final thing is we're gonna do a comma and we're gonna do execute we're gonna pass in message and arcs and this is basically where you want to start to type all of the code that is going to get executed when the message author or whatever user is using the command um, all that code make sure to start typing it here so last video we had all our code down here just basically copy that code and you can start adding your code here so last time we did was a message that channel that send and we're just going to send bag pong just like that and then the final thing we actually have to do is go back into the main.js file go down here into the if statements that we did last episode and we're going to just simply do client that commands that get and we're going to get the ping command and then we're going to execute execute and we're going to pass in message and we're going to pass in args just like that and that's actually all you have to basically code for this to work we're going to go over some things that we can do with it um, but if we actually open up our terminal or a command prompt and we do node space dot and let's see we got an error up here the error is we didn't have an n right here so command just like that let's actually clear this no space dot there we go our bot is online let's go ahead and go back into our discord server type in ping and we are going to get pong so what's basically happening is we are kind of creating separate files for all of our commands instead of typing all the functionality all of the execute functions in here it's much easier to just code everything on a separate file so let's say we want to do something like kick somebody or send an embed send anything you basically want to code that right here inside this execute function that we created right here so if you want to send something else in pong um, so we actually have another thing right here, which is last time we did YouTube. So if this sends YouTube, they get a link to our YouTube channel. What we can do is simply go ahead, go into our commands, uh, create another, you know, JS file. Let's just name it YouTube.js and kind of do the exact same thing that we did in our ping file. So let's actually copy this, paste it here, change the name to YouTube, change the description to sense the YouTube link or something like that. And here, what we can do is type our YouTube link, which is HTTPS. Um, let me just type it real quick. www.youtube.com slash code lion. Come back here and then we can do exactly the same thing, which is up here. And this is YouTube dot execute execute message and args. And just like that, we created the other command. So let's open up the terminal. Let's go ahead and close out of that, clear it, and run it again. And if we go back into our Discord server, we can do ping, and it'll work pong, and we can do YouTube, and it will send the YouTube link, which is actually the exact same thing that we did last tutorial, as you can see here, but using this advanced method. And I'm going to be using this advanced method pretty much for all my videos because I think it's an easier way to read the code because we can just go back and forth between the files instead of just going through a huge main.js file and if you are creating a bot that has a lot of commands use this if you're not uh, don't necessarily put this thing away um, this method here and use the basic one you can still use this and you should probably still use this but if you are creating kind of like a maybe a prototype or maybe a very very small bot make sure you use the other um, well, I'm actually saying make sure, but you could use the other basic 
method. Um, but this is probably the best method, method that all of the commercial bots use. Pretty much all the big bots use this method because it's very easy just to sort all the files, sort all the commands, and have them uh, kind of organized here on your directory. With that being said, that's actually it for this video. I'm going to need you guys' help for the upcoming videos. I kind of want to know what you guys want me to code next, so make sure to leave it in the comment section below. I do have a notepad with a lot of comments from other videos, um, but it would be nice if you guys let me know in the comment section below, and I'll write those down. With that being said, I'll see you guys later on my next video. Peace.